And here we are again, back at the Gathering of Dreams. We have two new pals accompanying us today. Shaggy Two Dope, why don't you introduce two well, very special these are not pals. new. Well, they're new pals, but they're not new. They're new to me. Yeah, they're new, and maybe new to some pals. of the viewers. Yeah. These pals right here are not just pals. I've known these men for about six months to a year apiece. Uh, this is Mike E. Clark, super extraordinary producer, and Legs Diamond, super fucking instrumental, fucking vocal, and fucking uh, vocal actor, and fucking ninjutsu instructor, and mountain climber, fucking Legs Tree. Diamond. In the house. Yeah. Trimmer. Trimmer. That's right. Well, he's the foreman. For I do it all. Trimmer, you didn't so. really hype him up that much, so looking at how you hyped up. I only known him six months to oh, a year. Okay, got fair enough. <laughs> it's a time <laughs> thing. I've known I, I've known Rich forever. Rich, Dog, right, we. I've known Rich forever. I've known Mike for like, grew what up, is it, like eight months. We I think? Had to do like one thing. <clears throat> Listen. So uh, Joey and I went to different schools together. Yeah, we did. Nice. <clears throat> we were rival schools. His football team used to come and beat up our cheerleaders. Oh, nice. One <laughs> yeah, of those schools, with their huh? dicks. <laughs> now, Mike and I had different fathers. Yeah. Isn't that how it works? You had the same stepmom, Alcoholic. different fathers? Yep. That's right. That's it's how awesome. it works. But seriously, though, I believe I was 17 years old when I met Mike Clark, this guy right here. Wow. How old were you? You got a mic. You got to talk into it. Do the math. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I was 24. It's called a mic. Were you? 24. I don't know what the fuck I was. I don't. Why are you so hostile? Because <laughs> angry, Mike Clark. Coming at me with math questions and. I, I, I will Dude, agree you that. Ease in, I will agree that yeah. was a shitty way to start the show. Throw math. Oh. Throw math questions when you first talk. To I was older than you. I know you were. You used yeah. to wear complete jean outfits, jean jackets with the jean pants. But you were denim a shit. Denim. Let me tell you something. I well, looked Mike I Clark, looked whacked as fuck, but I No, was. you didn't. Mike Clark would pull up, pull up in his like V little VW Jetta or whatever Jetta. the fuck it was. Yes. And he'd get on that jean hook well, up, you know what I'm saying? He had the fucking he would have the fucking lion locks, you know what I'm yeah. saying? The big like fucking super beard. But Name it was all like, trim and, like fucking but you lined were, like, up. Ten years younger than me, so like I know, you're old. I'm, I'm even, just I'm, I'm old, know. you're older. I don't even want to talk about that shit. That's we're talking about back in the day. What are you talking about? I don't want to talk about um, fashion. Well, let's talk My about it. My fashion Go. back in the 90s. Oh, you're talking about the jean outfit. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. You, oh, you're talking about... Because <laughs> I'm having bad flashbacks of like acid wash. You're, talk, you're talking acid about the Jay Leno. Jeans. The Jay Leno I extraordinary hair hair dyed black. And then there's just like... Well, you probably just think it's I did not out. look like I did not look like a motherfucker that would be doing hip hop or rap. Like these black kids would come to the studio, you were the funky honky, and laugh at me, and I'd be like, "Okay, get your laughs out, because I'm gonna fuck you up with mm -hmm. this drum machine." And then I do it, and they're like, "Oh shit, the funky honky!" It's like hitting <laughs> just, them with the and then, then they'd be like, "Okay," but I did not look like that. I looked yeah. like Kirk. You were a handsome guy, man. I look like Kirk you were Cole a handsome Bain fella in your twenties. I was a teenager. Before the Kirk, you know what I'm saying? You were a handsome twenty some odd year old fella. Now I, you know look, what I'm saying you were on the fucking town. You were fucking karate kicking I people. I wish I would have known it then, because yeah. no, now I look at the photos now and I'm like, damn, I could have, you know, been somebody. You've taken a lot of photos, <laughs> but I, I, I just so. didn't have a lot of confidence <laughs> in my swag. You are the most confident person I've ever met in my life, Mike. What are you talking about? You have no confidence in your swag. I didn't then. No, now, I, it took a while to grow into Do you remember it. what happened when we fucking, when, when Malenko first went gold? Do you remember what we did? Me, me, you, and Joe walked around town. You had your arms around both of us in the middle, and we, you just floated, and you walked around kicking people in the face. Do you remember that? I think that might have been a dream. No, no. You're the one that was there. What I would just like, you just be a motherfucker, yeah, like, yeah, you'd be all, like, honestly, like this, uh, carrying you, like, yeah, and you'd be just, like, we hey. damn, we just walked through the crowd, you'd be kicking motherfuckers out the way. That's that was at a uh, that was at a um, our uh, Malenko Gold Party. That's right. Maybe I who performed I it that, Joey? Dream. Do you remember? No, what? Who performed it that? It was the uh, Fuck. Muff Diver. No, that was at Malenko release party. Oh, my bad. Yeah, because actually, Renee was there. Trying to get it in there. there. When did you do That's the pizza right. song? I was trying to get pizza it in. Pizza man. Yes. No, Is we that did, a pizza we did, or the, the a man? Muff Divers, we, we did, uh, we did uh, <laughs> fucking Turn the Page. Yeah. That was we the did Hulksters yes. in the House. Yeah. And we did um, um, uh, I'm hung Going Hungry. Yeah. A couple of dog shits. That's right. Three songs. Go away. It was, the page was pizza man instead of yeah. Joe was a pizza. He was dressed up. I don't fucking. He was dressed up as a yeah. He had a big slice of pizza. I was I was I was a wrestler. Billy was a ninja. Uh, you were, oh, I was the ninja. You were the ninja. Yes. Okay. Where was, was that? Billy I was, was a ninja. I don't know what Billy was doing back there. He was there. also a ninja. He played, Billy played, remember the he played the drums. Billy went with two ninjas. Billy actually played the drums. <laughs> they Chucky, talk about the golden Chucky, Somehow he played the drums. Chucky Air played the keyboards. That's right. He stood there. We had to shut it off or something. We're like, don't touch it. 
Just, what just stand there. He airplayed the keyboard. We had to have our homies up there. <laughs> <laughs> I played backup guitar. That's right. Somehow I you learned, were on guitar. Look, let me tell you guys something. Killing it. Let me tell you something. We fucking practiced. Yes. Like fucking, what, for like a month straight? Oh, yes. Dog? Like every night we, come, we all get together at the office. Fucking right. And we fucking practice for like fucking a couple hours. And I was night. a slave driver. I had to teach Billy you how were. to play the drums. Yes. And, and uh, teach you how to play guitar. Yes, because you had to teach me how to play backup guitar. Yes, I did. I only, showed him. At, you were the only one that knew how to <laughs> play <laughs> any yes, Well, anything. I didn't want to go there. He was but, the only musician in the group. Well, you just did by saying you taught everybody how to play. I did. God damn, I was the musical director of the Muff Divers. Then we had Julian he came in, Julian Raymond. That's Raymond. right, Julian played. He, he was get out of the no, way. You're fine. Get out of the way. Because when I move my head to get a drink, you guys come, come on. on. Don't you got a neck? Why don't you just, I'm getting sick. Why don't you use your neck and drink? Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody would give me a straw. Right? <laughs> Cheap ass motherfuckers. Watch this, Mike. Trying to get a straw. Okay, wait. I don't have to go like this. <laughs> so you go like, no, I had to go bend down to pick the drink. Technique. Oh, it's a technique. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I'm sorry. Hey, because there's no table. It You're is, right. Yeah. I got no you know what? straw. Julian no Lennon played guitar with us, though. I forgot about Julian that. Julian Lennon did. That'd be yeah, great. Yeah, he came out. Julian, Julian Raymond. Not Lennon. Not Julian Lennon. Julian, Julian got, Raymond. You know what he did? He got me. He's like, ever since I've oh, been I missing get it wrong. you. I've been wanting to cry, <laughs> but it's much too late for goodbyes. That Good singing. And you want to know what Rich did? Rich, sure. Rich actually okay. taught me. He yeah. helped teach me how to fucking sing. I mean, I don't know how to sing, sing. No, but you're I know good how singer. To just and all that shit now. No, you're a good singer. I just did. Just did. That was good. It's and it was much good. Much too late for my Clark. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. you, that I'll really teach you. Yeah. Now here's the here's your, here's your singing lesson right now. Don't sing flat. Okay, you he's sing he's flat. Okay. Don't sing. Don't fucking sing. Right, lesson. that's Rich, your lesson. lesson don't fucking just, sing. How about that? Do you don't remember the first sing. song you taught me how to sing on? No, I don't. Like, for like for real, for I really tribe? don't. No, it was um, it I'm was so fucking. Uh, let's go all the way. Oh yeah, yes. Let's go all the way. Yes. I was just like, look, I don't know how to fucking sing. I can't do it. Right. Not a singer. Yeah. I can't sing this shit. And you're like, let me show you how to do this shit. And you showed me how to do it. Yep. And look at look at you now. Look at me today. Now I'm doing fucking power rock ballads by myself. You're killing. Beautiful. <laughs> well, actually, we do got a power rock ballad on this fucking on the fucking CDs we're giving out. The EP. Yeah. Gosh, what's that it's called? Fucking, I forgot. But uh, it's, it's called an eighties. It's called eighties rock, rock song or something. Nice. Some shit like that. Eighties rock anthem or well, something. Really good. Are you singing on this? Shit? Yeah, man. I'm, Fresh I'm as fucking, hell. I sing like uh like Judas Priest. I Speaking tell, of that, I, Steel fucking Panther heard, killed it. Yeah. Oh, they, my they God. Always, they always kill it. Come on, man. I was not expecting that shit. Yeah. Those guys are pros. They, yeah, dog. Sound like the record. You, you know what the thing is? Let me tell you the thing about them. The thing yeah. is, is they perpetrate like it's some like fun yes. gimmick act you're doing. Yes. They're real old school uh, wolf magicians. Magi magicians. Magicians. That turn into musicians yeah, <laughs> through their magic <laughs> and the uh, love from the world that was given Mother to them. Motherfucking pros. No doubt, Those guys dog. are pros. They're real Real motherfuckers Real out there. Real thing. You know? Them ain't wigs. Mm -hmm. The people that come see them rock the wigs. I'm that, telling that, you. Hey, them are hair follicles growing <laughs> yes, up. Yes, fucking A. Some 80s yeah. hair follicles. I've seen pictures did of you, them. Did you go check this? I didn't pull on it. I didn't. It wasn't like a Santa Claus situation when I pulled on the beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm not, just don't do that to a man. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure those weren't? Well, I, don't, I didn't see it. So I, I should have pulled this bandana back and saw what was up under there. You know what's <laughs> up under there when they're wearing a bandana like that. Oh, you like know, Julian Raymond. Actually, used to actually you know what's not under there. It's actually what you know. I had to go there. Right. <laughs> Dang. I had to go there. Come on, I'm cold blooded. Don't worry, you don't watch this. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. <laughs> <laughs> Julian Raymond. Julian we Raymond. know you got a receding ass hairline. Well, that was Take the bandana 20, off and live with it. Twenty years ago, come on, fucker. Now? That motherfucker no. even got a head no more. No, 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 That's no, right. I, How far back does the bandana go now? It goes just, all the way back. I here. just saw him via video chat. Like, uh, what was it? Like, it was last Did winter. Did he have a he headband? <laughs> He had a hat. He had a hat. He wears like a there big you go. He, you know, like the back used to wear like the train conductor hat. Yeah, he wore different hats. It's just like a different gimmick hat oh, now. That's so he's stale. No, he's not stale. the headband anymore. I can't, can't remember. Rock it's the like, it's <laughs> like you see those wigs with the headband. It's like a no, fear of a yeah, black hat. It's the hat. Wig you know what I'm saying? Remember fear of a black hat? Yes, I do. Sport that. That would be fucking hot. N W H. Fear of a Black Hat. That was the best movie ever. It was like it was the, the B flick of CB4. Yeah. But it was way funner than CB4. Okay, let's That's talk right. about something better. Okay, that. what do you want to talk about? Um, What's your I want to talk about the show tonight because I thought it was fucking awesome. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. about fucking some dope shit. Okay, right. some dope shit. Some real is shit. Is 
some dope shit that um, I don't know what we can talk about. I told you. Let me tell I you. Don't know how to interview. That I'll show tonight working. was full lie. Thank yeah. you, man. Fucking fly. As a fan, let me tell you something. As a fan, as a hardcore fucking fan. That well, was I a real done, treat, man. Hearing those tracks, guys in like five it was great. Or six I loved years, it. Hearing those tracks, back to this shit. Yeah, like, this no, this shit right here. We've never done any of these. None songs. of them, and it was so ever. great to hear them, man. It, it was the really same was. Time to remember them, you know what I'm saying? Oh Be God, I could imagine how hard that <laughs> was. Shit. Oh my bad. Can we talk about the EP? Let's talk about it. What do you want to talk about? That shit felt good, man. I think like. <laughs> Like, it just, still it, feels it's like good. interviewing yourself. Man. It is. That's it's it's weird. It. it is. We're yeah. so bad yes. at it. You need Mike every week. Yeah. Well, he just needs to be well, the co-host. Yeah. Right. yeah. I think hey, you I just lost your job. I'll, you can you move like off. Ten hours away from me. He can move off the couch. Right right That's right. Look at how this seat like this. That's how I know you're old school. Yeah. He's on stage like punk rock shows back in the day. Because you don't know when you might need to scream somebody. You need gotta be prepared. I always hated, hated, hated chord mics, but yeah, you gotta. I like chord. They sound better. Because Mike likes to do like this when he sings. Eh. Yeah. Oh. Roger Daltrey style. Yeah. 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 I That's like fly. to do that a lot. Getting into it. <laughs> That's actually like one of his gimmicks he's known for when he's on stage. Like it's always it's through his whole career though. I you know what I'm saying? I would stand up and do it, but I'm kind of tired. Yeah. I mean, no. Hey, the I, game's to be sold, not to be told. You know what I'm saying? You don't just give that away for free, dog. Give it away. Devalues it. That's right. But yeah, like he, he's done that his whole career. He, like through his whole career. When I first met him, that's how I met him. He was like, hey, man. I was like, what's up? He was like, he got out of his car. He was like, how you doing? And he threw it to me. And I was like, good. What do I do with this? He's like, throw it back. I was like, and then <laughs> he's like, word up. And I was like, you're cool, dog. And then, the rest is history. Damn. And then, then we started making beats and making out. That's how it started. <laughs> it, it, the, the music was made through the language of love. I don't remember making out, but <laughs> one. I mean, oh, we, we, like, no. we didn't kiss. Like we made. Oh, yeah, there's a difference. Oh, yeah. That's right. yeah. Like we made it out of that situation. <laughs> a different, we we made it out. <laughs> yeah, we made out. The, like we did that. We made out. Of the, we made it out. Well, I, I forgot to put it in there. My bad. <laughs> we used to always say in the studio, "Why don't you two guys just make out and get it over with?" Do you remember what that? What you mean, make, make out and get the way just I get it over it, with? The way I remember it was making out and you guys telling us to stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long you as you're should, fessing up that you far, guys okay. Squirt us with a little squirt yep. bottle and stuff. That is how it went. And then you put like the we rolled up. Like, uh, stop you it! You put the rolled up masking tape on stop the seat next to the mic. So would would you guys it? stop it? <laughs> I do remember that? Fuck right. yeah! Clearly, maybe we should go. Like back. it's what burned in my brain. You know, Mike, hold on, hold on. I owe you an apology, my friend. I owe you a big, big apology. You want to know what for? No, what? For fucking smoking cigarettes around you all them years. I owe you an apology to your face. You used to go, man, that sucks. Get out of my face. Oh, I'll be like, I hated it. So hate what? It, but you know it, what? Hate it, hate it, I fucking hate it. hate it now. Cigarettes are for fucking assholes and dickheads. That, that's a good piece. <laughs> that's karma coming back on it you, is, don't they? Because you know I was an asshole when I smoked, Dog. man. I was a straight up <laughs> asshole. Kind of dickhead I, and I was, now I'm living with a lot of smoke. If a security guy told me in a venue to not smoke, I'd threaten that, to not do the fucking show. I'd be like, get this guy, fuck him, I'm smoking. Yeah. I'm fucking, what are you going to do? I'm going right, to so throw I'd, me I'd okay, be in let fucking Myers. I'd light up a cigarette in Myers. Be like, who's going to fuck with you? Asshole. Such a dick. Why was I such a dick? When you don't smoke, you realize how bad and stupid I smoking can smell, I can is. smell if somebody yeah. on the freeway in front of me smoking me a squirt. Me too. When no, their window's I, down, I'm like, come on. Yeah, yeah, because oh. you smoke just like I okay, did. Like, so worse. You, you quit first. Worse. I did you quit, quit first. You quit straight up quit. I did straight up I quit. I stepped down to the vape boys. Nope, I didn't do that. I put them down and I stopped. You were fucking G with that yep. shit, for real. Yeah, I, I remember that shit. I was a charge. cigarette Nazi, and now, like... Now you're smoking again. Be truthful. I went on This motherfucker's smoking, Joey. I went on I'm not lying. Okay, listen, listen. Whoa. I was backstage in his fucking Whoa. camper what? and he's smoking fucking cigarettes. I'm so glad I apologized for that so I can learn that you're smoking. Uh, you're smoking cigarettes now? You suck. All up in my face. Wait a second. Are teenagers start to like, smoke? Move down when? Were you a teenager? No. Was okay. he hide up out of the fucking I, garage no. and smoke can cigarettes with his buddies? Straight up. Can he's I smoking again. Myself? Smoking no. your dad's cigarettes? No. You know what we need to do? We need to sit down right now and make him smoke fucking no. a whole pack of cigarettes. That's right. Smoke the whole pack. No, no. Wet ones. I just right. quit. I just quit like two days ago. And then when you're oh, done, you got to okay. tip the cigarette. I just asked fucking Ryan Liar. for one just before this. <laughs> Listen. Okay. I Patrick, I bring him a cigarette. Quit. No. He, he wants a cigarette. Why you smoke for him, Mike? What the fuck? Because I went on tour with some asshole for five years. We're talking about Kid Rock. Sure. Yeah. We okay, know who you mean. So that's what I did. But then I was hanging out with the, you know, and then everyone's smoking them 
fucking American Spirits and you shit. fucking. And I'm like, let me, hit, the I was like, let me hit a cigarette. Let me hit a cigarette. Peer let pressure. me get a cigarette. Da, 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 da. And then when I by the five years that I got off that fucking tour, I was like, I, I had a monkey on my back. And then so like smoking. I bought a pack and blah, blah blah blah. So like I've been smoking, but then I quit like three days. Well, I quit. I gotta six, tell you, Mike, I'm just I quit six months ago for four. How long did I quit for, Patrick? I'm very disappointed. But then in I started you. again, and now I just. I'm quit very disappointed three days ago. in you. You know what? You don't get no ends until so you get at least a month or so on I your belt. I only had one cigarette throughout the day. It, that's right. right. <laughs> never quit. quit. Here, go, here goes the Shit. thing. You never quit quitting, but quit fucking bragging about quitting if you don't complete That's it. That's right, yeah, motherfucker. Quitting again. Yeah. Be like, cool, but just shut up about How it. How many times? Quit. I feel so ashamed right now. You should. You're right on national television, man. I don't even want this to go out right this now. Is Bomber, airing, don't smoke. This, it's this terrible. This is airing during the fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, right. it, Everybody knows now. It's bad, though. Smoking's really bad. You know don't what's smoke. worse? What? Smoking cigars. Well, here's the deal. Smoking is Way so worse. fucking Stinks. addicting. Yeah. Like, then you don't have no control, so you're just a bitch yeah. to whatever the fuck you are. You're a bitch to, like, oh, I got to go to the goddamn fucking store and buy a fucking pack of cigarettes because I'm a bitch. Like, that's my fucking... You know what this like, is? What you're saying is a mild version of a commercial I've seen for teenage smoking. That's right. You Straight get to, up. That's right. Without them saying bitch. <laughs> yep. They didn't say bitch? Well, no, no but I'm just saying, saying like, she couldn't say bitch. Just, you're just a, anti-bullying you're a thing prostitute next. to the fucking drug. And then, so you got to get, here's how you quit. You just got to get Speaking mad of at it and be like, no, bitch, you don't have control of me. I got control over my That's called willpower. Shit. And then you got to quit. That's how you quit. It is. But, There's no, who you telling? You ain't you smoke. Yeah, wait a second. Who the fuck you giving tips? Come to? on. I was I, to, I'm, I'm almost who you telling? telling? I'm almost quitting. You're a liar. I, just I bought, guarantee. I just bought that and hook, line, and sinker. One week from yeah, now, you drilled I, in, I, Joey. I was like, yeah, you know what? He's right. A, wait a second. Just, I don't even, to him. You know what? Fuck you, bitches. I don't even smoke fuck. that much. I smoke like, I ain't had like a real, like I smoke like a pack of cigarettes every three days. Liar. That's not a lie. Patrick, come on. <laughs> come on, man. Smoking. And you apologize to him about come, He knows. <laughs> don't apologize And I shit. went down from a pack. I can hear smokers three. cough already. You can hear it in, yeah. you can hear it in his shit. voice. That you put in your lungs I'm from cigarettes. I'm smoking like one to two cigarettes a day, and by next week, I ain't going to be smoking. You know what we need to do? Start putting those can little... We not, can we edit this shit out? No. <laughs> we're gonna You're start on the hot little, seat. We're going to start putting a little... It's so boring. Anybody watching this is just like turned out like... No. Clicking Let on me rewind in this part. Go to YouTube. Cause there's some million We, we need things. to start putting those little explosive just cigarette loads in this shit. Listen, just to watch me get mad. When yes. you're like, you ever don't see, when you, fucking right. When you probably do it, somebody gets so pissed off. Oh, yeah. You're mad for real. I'm going to get some of those. Tell yeah. people not to do something. They still They're make gonna do those? it. Yeah, yes, it looks like really? a little white piece of wood, white right? So you just stick them looks in with like a, a piece of wood tip or something. Yeah, the whole thing blows. Take, right when they light, they they <laughs> the cool part is back in the day, it shoot the hots from the cigarettes all over your <laughs> face. Your face. Wow. Wow. Yeah, ah, especially if you could shove it way down near the bottom. Yeah, yes, you it was always good to get it in there like with a pencil or something. Get your alcoholic uncles. Yes, they're easy targets. Exploding like right in their fingers, they just look at it. <laughs> the little white stick. They just keep smoking it some more. Them in the cigarette, and then they light them, and it explodes. Oh, my those mom would get so fucking pissed. You ever do it to your mom? Oh, don't do that to your mom. I moms. did it to my mom. Holy shit, she beat the fuck out of us. That's a mistake. Your uncles want that. Ken three, she's drunk and uncle, but not your mom. You're drunkle. <laughs> you're drunkle. That's the uncle that might touch you as well. Everybody's got a drunkle, right? Every, uh, probably more than one. Right. What was your drunkle's name? Mine was Uncle Dick. Uncle Mike. Uncle Mike, nice. Mm. What about You're your a drunk? Fucking idiot. Uncle Mike, Everybody uh, had a drunk uncle. What was your drunk uncle's name? Um, it doesn't have to be blood. Really it could have been your married in from your aunt. I don't know. I don't you didn't have a drunk had, uncle. I what about really a grandpa? Drunk uncle. I had a Charlie. Yeah. Just uncle Charlie. And he would like, oh God, oh God. <laughs> He would hit on all the little kids at the party. Like, what? Oh, Ooh. Wow. oh God! What? We would laugh though. Because oh God! We had oh God! How did we get there? Like Twelve and shit, and the you know he hit on you. Mine. Well, mostly the little girl. He, no. I don't think. Oh, I don't think he. I don't think girl. he drew the line. It was. It was a different oh, time. Man. He went wrong. for the little girl, like the like. Damn, I'm sure he is. Right? God, he's got to be. Um, <laughs> better be. He was a train wreck then. And this is a long time ago, but. Okay, bye. Yeah, so don't so seriously, like Christmas time or some shit. And uh we were all like same age, like 12, 13, and we would like, let's go down to Uncle Charlie was like in he'd be in the basement. <laughs> he lived Uncle down in the fucking Charlie. And we go down That's there because we knew we he would try to do band. some freaky shit. And we would just laugh, like, and then we run upstairs. He tried to touch my titty. <laughs> what? Did it look 
And we would laugh like we would be little kids. We thought it was funny. Hold on. Funny. Hold on. He, never, he never got pinched? He wow. never got pinched for that? He didn't no, serve no time or nothing, no, Uncle Charlie? we didn't tell him. We thought it was funny. Like, we were just, wow. we knew that was his God shit. Damn. And then we would go and Now, let me ask you something. Did he, did, was he actually trying to touch the kids or was he just being silly? No, he was. Uh, he was trying to get at it. God well, he was damn. just having fun playing. Oh, <laughs> that sound, fun it sounds like a hoop. It sounds like a hoop. But I wouldn't put it's my kids down. Like, game, if I, I like knowing what I know now, we thought it was funny. Like, <laughs> look, <laughs> he's a freak. Did like, the other parents that, uh, know that he was doing this? Oh, shit. No, Uncle Charlie's no, Barbie. No, no, Barbie. Wow. That was part of the game. That's no, right. No. Uncle Charlie's Barbie. Barbie Fucking Uncle Charlie. Tonight. Uncle Charlie tried to pay my attention. He's coming over for the week on babysitting. We would just laugh about it. You. Okay, your drunk Uncle Charlie's awesome. What about your drunk Uncle Rich? I'll tell you. Let me tell you a story about mine. It wasn't. Never told this story. It wasn't Uncle Can Mike. We put me on this. Uncle, Uncle Fred. Mike. Uncle, Fr- Uncle, Uncle Mike. Fred. Uncle Fred. Uncle Fred. Fuck yeah. My <laughs> other drunk uncle. Uncle Fred. Yeah, Uncle Fred. This Why is his story. Fred? Drink Fuck yeah. Paps Blue Ribbon. Nice. Right? That was his my thing. My dad drank that. Put a raw motherfucking egg in it. <laughs> wow. My dad. And salt. My dad used to put Tabasco sauce in his beer so he could oh, taste it because he was fucking drunk. And drink it. He'd be like, "This is my breakfast." Yeah. So our, oh, okay. Uncle Fred. Wow, Uncle, the egg beer bro. Raw, Raw egg, egg and Paps salt in a Pabst right. Blue Ribbon so, and I, no, six-year-old well, Legs Diamond would get it for him. Here's your beer the, the and your egg. Family. So you had a drunk Uncle Dad? Yeah, kind of. But he wasn't weird. He wasn't like touching kids in the basement. He didn't try to touch all the kids and, and wasn't, shit. Yeah, he, he didn't eat eggs like in his beer. Damn. He, he wasn't normal. Oh, damn. Right. Here, I might have pushed my he mom here normal, and there. Right? But, you know? <laughs> might have smacked the old lady <laughs> yeah, around, huh? No, he might have pushed like, you down the stairs yeah, once or twice. That's right. pushed you out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about my Uncle Dick. Yeah. Dick. <laughs> okay, he was a great uncle. He <laughs> was still your uncle. It was my grandma's brother. That counts. Yes. Now, Uncle Dick, hardcore alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? Beer, he didn't give a shit. Beer, liquor. His occupation, he was a truck driver. <laughs> Long haul truck Course. driver. Yes, indeed. He used to get those green stamps. Remember those green road yes. stamps truckers? Yeah. Used yes, to get? indeed. He used to get us those things. Now, he was also very, very racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's so funny. It was so funny. Comes with the territory. He was so serious, but it was the funniest shit because he was just so yeah, Uncle. He would like weigh like eighty pounds, and he looked like he looked like a, he had like eyes like a pug. Talk like this too. No, he was like I that. don't like them goddamn. He wasn't a hillbilly. He's from Michigan. <laughs> oh, how did he talk? <laughs> well, I don't like them god. No, no. How does somebody from Michigan talk like me? Yeah, it sounds like just say it normally. God like. damn it! I don't like all of these. God damn it! <laughs> So, anywho, if Uncle, you're not white, and wow, <laughs> well, he's, he's you're doing Uncle yeah. Dick. Yeah, he's doing but no, Uncle, Uncle Dick, Dick was more. He was more just like an old school, just like uh, angry racist guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, very but old school. It wouldn't always school. come out but when, when he was real shit faced. Once he switched to the, the bottle, bottle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mean. But also, now listen to this. When I was in fifth grade, I had to live with my grandma, and my drunk Uncle Dick also lived with my grandma because he was a drunk, and nobody else would take him in. And I okay to get to his bedroom, <laughs> you had to walk through my bedroom. Oh no! no. And Come on, smoke. attached bedrooms? Yeah. Come it was on, old ass house. That's man. some ill shit. I know. You what walk, the it was fuck? In the upstairs, Just go into the bathroom. What? He didn't need to. Come on. Listen to this. He go in his room and shut the door. Being a fucking ten year old child in your room, dead. We didn't have, have no TV or nothing. Of course dead not. Fucking fuck no, we didn't have TV. This man would go in his room, and all you would hear is, "I can't do it." It was so loud. It was like. Like his ass would like inhumanly explode. Like oh my shit, god! You, like it sounded like there was a fucking monster. In what did he eat? It sounded like he was like, turning into a monster. What was his diet? Liquor. Oh. <laughs> A lot of carbonation. <laughs> liquor and probably multi-meal. I don't right. fucking know. Right. Then. Liquor and bacon. <laughs> yeah. God <laughs> damn it. How traumatizing is that? Horrible. He, horrible. He, he tried to sleep in your long head. life. And because of his long, fucking come liquor on. drinking, because of his severe drinking, he had insane fucking bad psoriasis. <laughs> So his skin constantly ah, flaked off ah. everywhere. So my grandma's house. So he had a lot of yeah. girlfriends. Was all tile everywhere. So it's just fucking <laughs> skin. And you know, you dust is made out of skin flakes. You know, dust is made out of skin flakes, right? Yeah. House. So it was like a fucking the corner of a. <laughs> it was like the corner of, after you shovel the fucking snow in your driveway, like the corners of it. You know what I'm saying? It was just, but it was skin oh flakes. Oh my god! And you were ten? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And my grandma would whip his ass in front of us because he'd always like walk out with like a pop, but he'd be mad liquor poured into it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She always catch him and throw it on the floor and smack him in the head. God I heard this story like two weeks ago. Yeah. And it just got, it keeps getting better. <laughs> yeah, I man. swear I hope you I tell him everything. Oh, and his mm. rice is so bad <laughs> that like his socks would have like blood marks all over. Oh. <laughs> I'm not Good bullshit. Lord. You can't make this shit up. 
He was the most oh. horrifying thing I ever seen when I was a kid, and I had to oh sleep next God, to him. Oh my God, that's terrifying! And the noises that would come out of this man. Walk through your bedroom to get to bed. And like I don't know how something that loud could come out of a man like the size of my fucking shin. You so know what I'm saying? It was incredible. It's like you know, it's like it's like when you see those little skinny girls that can sing their fucking. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're like, how the fuck did yeah, that come out of that little mind bitch? Blown. What's he this doing? came out of his little man's ass. I couldn't believe it. What's he doing now? Wow. Yeah, fucking getting snacked on by bugs, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and farting. Well, he's probably just a skeleton wow. now. I don't fucking know. Yeah. He's my great uncle, man. I'm old. That's so right. Great of uncle. Great when uncle. I was a teenager, probably he was on like, the ground. When I was a teenager, or like early 20s, he was going on 80. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Done. And then uh, I was like, I, said, I always asked my mom, I'm like, all right, Uncle Dick chain smokes, you know what I'm saying? Like camel non filters. Oh, you know the worst. He's got severe like psoriasis. He's a super drunk. Uh, how is he still alive at 80? She was, and it, though, my whole family's thing is they believe he pickled himself. <laughs> <laughs> he, drank so much, yeah. he drank so pickled much. He drank so much. He was preserved. Liver. He preserved it was himself. Crazy his he liver wasn't beers, good, but he was preserved. Because he had so much liquor in him already. God damn. Know. He was my idol. What Besides the, the racist part. That's not cool. <laughs> the drinking part. Well, the drinking part. <laughs> drinking the psoriasis. I drank his psoriasis. What's not to like? Yeah. Well, what's look, at like? look at my elbows. Look at my elbows now. Look at my elbows. That? Look at my elbows. What do you guys see? What is it? Don't you want to share a hallway with it? No. Yes, it is. It's not. It's diagnosed. You do got That's because it's wet with Fago. If I came out of the shower. If I came out the shower. My had psoriasis and that not psoriasis. Okay, I don't got the fucking. Let's see that elbow. I've seen that, man. Let's see that elbow. I'm just saying. Just some fucking scales came through on me, some. And I fart a lot, but not like him. I'm just saying, I got so That was straight. farts? You thought, I thought he was the, shitting. In the no! Oh. There's something had to come out during it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know fucking know what went out in this crazy room. Okay. Oh. Mm. So drunk uncles, huh? <laughs> Who won? Fascinating. Drunk uncle was the worst. Wars. No. <laughs> No, yours one right here. I, I think yes. that's the basement game. Fucking the child molester. <laughs> okay, yeah. mine was more. It's funny. Mine was no, more. No, it's not mine was funny. More we just thought it was normal. God. Mine was more terrifying Sick. to me, but mine did nothing illegal to me. You know what I'm saying? Your uncle was willingly <laughs> fucking hitting on yeah. fucking ten year old girls. Oh my God, and you thought well, the was, children, the child, the children. the children of the household, right, the, well, mean, getting I, touched. I don't even know if he would. See, I shouldn't. <laughs> that's what that's what's cool I don't about. Know if he would just yeah. really. Don't that's what's cool about the show, man. I just think if like <laughs> you, you talk. How did you get people there? like that no. that are drunk? Phones right yeah, go ahead. I'll go ahead talk. Know. I'm just I looking do, at my phone. I don't don't know. Worry. I don't we're, we're we're really professional on this this show. Hold Who on. is it? Let's get it. It's Let's Maddie. Maddie. What? Oh shit! What up? Okay, I got something to say. So I called Joey just a little while ago. That was funny. I was at. We just got off stage, what time is and I was like, I was like, yo. <laughs> yo, I was like, yo, motherfucker, you just left your fucking phone on the stage. And he's like, what? I did. Da, 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 da. And then he's talking and he's like, fuck you, my clerk. I got my phone in my hand. He did. That's yeah, no yeah, bullshit. Yeah. That's he a, totally that bought really it. really happened. He's like, like what? You got my phone? Hold on. Ago. Where'd you get it? That's true. That's no. That's no joke. Can confirm. I just Burn. thought it would be funny. I was. I was just. I. I, I watched it. I was like, oh shit, Mike, because I was over there trying he to find the trailer. He picked up the phone. I was and I'm like, like, yo, what yo up, Mike? dog. We were because we were just on stage. I'm like, dog, you fucking left your phone. <laughs> I was like, you like, guys, you get it for me. You, <laughs> you, you got, got it. it. Don't worry. I was like, wait, oh so I'm talking God. on my fucking phone right <laughs> I was like, for real? I forgot you get it for me? Because I yes. was calling him because right before this. The, I was there. I heard dude, the, the whole s- thing. The fucking show was starting and you asked me about doing this interview. <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker, I got to load these CDs, man. I'm about to do a fucking show. Like, you're no, about no, to do no, a listen, show. Guys, you are, look, We're about to do a show. When you're off stage, I'm though, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm still trying to figure out. Are we? What are we doing? Are we doing the interview you, you after know the show? Are we doing tomorrow? Dude, because or, I put in work. That's the only time I can holler at you at that point. I know because I ain't seen you all. All, ever. all right. day. I, First I, time I, I saw an opportunity, yeah. and I took right. it. But it, it was fucking funny. And then I was like, dude, I got to load this. Like, First of all, I got it all up into it, and then I'm like, the intro started. Like, I gotta figure out. I gotta load these shits up. And then <laughs> you're just like, still no, 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 don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Listen here. Listen here. Yeah. Anyway, I got I something to ask you. Funny. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny. Yeah. Got then got then after I got off stage, you know, you know, and I started thinking you. about finally, the interview. I was talking to him. I'm like, finally, wait a minute. Were we supposed to do the interview? So I go, I'm gonna call this motherfucker. And then that's when I called you. Finally, at the beginning, whatever. I didn't know what to say. I'm just like, yo. I'm trying to explain to him. He's like. 
can we just talk about this when the show's over? <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah, I guess so. Yes. Like, how how long would that conversation have gone? right it? down. Like, just it shut down. Joe would have walked out on stage and started doing this. Talk about this later. Well, they wouldn't see me because I was busy right now. They just saw you just turned around like this, talking down to somebody. Oh, my Clark. They wouldn't even know it was me down there. I'm just like. Yeah, and and I got off stage. I was like, "Oh fuck, we're gonna do that interview." And then I was like, "I'm just gonna call this motherfucker." And then I'm like, "What am I gonna say?" I'm just like, "Say I got his phone." <laughs> and then he answered, "Son of a bitch!" Phone. I was like, "Dog, I got your phone, and you left it on stage." <laughs> you know, and I didn't think like, "Why and would I?" You were like, "You got it." <laughs> you got, <laughs> yeah, I got the shit. Oh, and you're like, "Oh fuck you, Mike Clark." <laughs> <laughs> like why the fuck would I even have my phone on the stage for? You know what I'm saying? The funniest thing that happened in to, at, at the gathering. Yes, yeah, funny yeah, thing is pretty good. funniest pretty thing. Good. Got you good. Shit, fellas, I can sit here and talk for hours and hours and hours, and perhaps I will. Okay, just no, not right will. now because yeah. I gotta yes. go. Hunt you got, you got a lot of editing to do. There's a lot. Of shit. Yeah. No, we get we cut no, <laughs> we begin to end as minutes. is, my friend. Uh, yeah. the, I used the, to think I used to think the podcast game worked like that too until yeah. I watched one that we did with somebody else. I was like, they didn't edit shit. shit yeah, I was like, oh, that's cool though, because that's why you just don't say shit. You Whatever. Know. We should have some information. <laughs> well, we did give yeah. Good yeah. Plug the fuck out of yourself. Don't smoke. Oh, it's stay in yeah, school. No, don't smoke. Stay in school. Stay in school. Yeah. Don't smoke. And if your uncle touches you, say something. Yes. Tell your family Tell members. Tell somebody. Tell your family members if your uncle offers to touch don't your Don't think it's funny. <laughs> ah, it was right. funny. It was funny. No, it wasn't. It, it, hey, it was, it was, it was Christmas. What's he going to do? It was, it was Christmas. Was funny. It was the what children. He Tell somebody. It was the children. You know, it was, That's right. What's he going to do? Fuck. Oh, love could, That's right. He couldn't even rape us. He's There's no penetration. We just laughed. You'd have had whiskey dick. Bad, you would have had whiskey dick in you. Drunk pedophile. Who <laughs> fuck <laughs> whiskey dick? It's okay. Like right, he could have got it up. They're in harmless. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that was a lesson for Mike Clark in the world of I don't know it's pedophiling. Like, I don't know. I'm we'll not, leave no, it look, at that. It's cool though. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Charlie's in a better place now. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And well, Uncle Fred hasn't had, had a beer and an egg in a long all time. Over the place, so he's. he's <laughs> <laughs> He's got all the titty, children titty he can touch. Oh. So Uncle Charlie's good now. Uh, all right, well, oh, shit. Next oh, pal cast, I don't know who the fuck pal talk. I don't know who yeah. the fuck it will be, but it's it'll be awesome. Thank you, fellas, man. That was a shit. Thank you, guys. Legs hey, Diamond, right Mike Clark, OGs on this motherfucker. I love these guys. Like my fucking, they're my fucking yeah, brothers man. forever. Family. God to, uh, damn it. All right. Fuck Bring yeah. it in. Over his shoulder. Ow. There we go. I got like five words in. And it's okay. <laughs>